What about the bibs? How important are they and uh, what's, uh, what's your call? My call is uh, the conditions look pretty good today. Uh, so they're, uh, I mean, they're, you know, you always want number one if you can, but uh, I don't think it's, uh, or Ted doesn't, but I'll, um, I don't think it matters, like one to seven. Um, it's going to be a little rough for everyone in the second run, then it will even out, I think. Now I want to hear why you don't like number one. What, which number would you pick if you could, uh, you know, just pick any from the board? I'd take, pick three, four, five, three, four, five. Yeah, those are my numbers. I really don't think it matters when you're running top seven, like, you should be pretty good at running one anyways, but seven, it's not like it's that hacked. Unless there's like seven axles going down, yeah. <laughs> big guys like him, like putting in big ruts and stuff. But normally, if you got little guys like Hersher, they don't bump up the course too much. Sometimes things just don't go according to plan, and today, really strong winds forced the organizers to move the top and the regular start to a lower one, making this race a very short and sweet ride. And Who's on top again? Of course, Ted Ligeti. This guy is just amazing in GS. But as in every race, anything can happen in the second round. And it's going to be a rough battle with conditions getting softer and softer by the minute. Solden and Mr. GS Ted Ligeti won again. This place has been the Americans European training base for three years in a row and each of those years Ted has won on this slope. In second place no changes. Alexis Pintureau nailed his second run but still it wasn't enough for a victory while home favorite Marcel Hirscher rounded out the podium in third and probably started another amazing season. Well, last year I won by 2.7 seconds, this year only by 7,900, so maybe I'm two seconds slower this year, I don't know, no, but uh, I'm, I'm happy with where I'm skiing, you know, it's no surprise that those guys are right there with me, they're the guys that are for sure competing for the GS title with me, and uh, you know, probably even the overall, especially, you know, obviously Marcel, but I think Alexis as well.